Greetings, fellow rock tumblers. Look what I've got here. These are a bunch of cut rocks, and they came from a video series that I've made called What's Inside My Rock. Maybe you saw some of these. Doesn't matter. What we're gonna do with these now is get them all tumbled. See how well they will tumble and polish. As you can see, we've got lots of agates in here and some other miscellaneous rocks. Now, most of these are smallish, which means when this is done, we're gonna be looking at some small rocks, but that's okay. So let me go ahead and get all these rolling in a barrel in the coarse grit. I'll get them tumbling for as long as it takes to make them nice and smooth. Once they're nice and smooth, I'll bring them back in here and I'll show you what they look like before moving them onto the polishing stages. Check it out. After several weeks of coarse grit grinding, these what's inside my rock rocks are ready for the polishing and no, they're not perfect. Some of them are quite rough, but I wasn't gonna continue because they're getting very small and oh, besides, I think that if these take a good polish, they're going to be beautiful. Like look at that inside there. Don't you imagine that once this thing takes a shiny polish, that will really stand out? Some of these will probably be very plain. Look at this one. Oh, we got all kinds of interesting little rocks in here. Most of these are agate obviously. If you watch my What's Inside My Rock series, you know that I try to cut agates. And this one, for example, is an agate. Well, how are these going to turn out once we polish them? Hopefully very nice. Some of them are a little bit rough. Others are, well, smooth and pretty. Let's find out. I'll go ahead and get all these in the vibratory tumbler. I'll go for, oh, about eight to 10 days. Use four different grits. Once I'm finished, I'll bring them all back in here and show you what they look like. Well, check it out. The polishing's all finished. What do you think? I think we've got an interesting group of very small, but shiny rocks. Let's take a closer look at some of the nicer ones. Several of them look like this. They're just shiny little pieces of chalcedony. Don't get me wrong, I like shiny little pieces of chalcedony, but they don't offer a whole lot. Let's see if we can find some better than this. So here's a piece of shiny chalcedony that has a little bit more to offer. When I turn it over, you can see, ooh, check that out. Some really pretty blue banding, and then of course that little quartz pocket right there. Yeah, I like that. Couldn't get much more of a smooth tumble because it would, it would just disappear. It was getting so small, so there was no point in trying to grind all that out. I'm pretty happy with the way this one turned out. This was one of the plain rocks that I found along Calamity Creek. It uh, took an okay shine. Not great, but okay. It's sort of interesting, although actually now that I look at it, yeah, it's pretty boring. Let's move on. I think I pointed this one out early on. Look at that little chalcedony bubble there with the, well, it almost looks like a, I don't know, piece of white broccoli in there. <laughs> Isn't that cool looking? Nice little chunk with great detail. There's more on this side over here on, on the left side. It's just amazing what gets inside of these things when they are formed. Now, as I said before, these were all cut for my little video series, and sometimes I can just find the two ends that went together, like this. These two little pieces of, well, I guess this could be carnelian. It's got that color. It's very small. Forgive me for not being able to show you much, but these are tiny little bitty, itty, tiny, itsy bitsy rocks here. Pretty little rocks though. Here's another little bitty agate. Not a whole lot to look at there. You can see that it's translucent. The interesting part is on the end where, look at that, we got some quartz, check it out. Other than that, it's just sort of a know, brownish agate rock. Check out this pretty blue one. I think this may be the other half of one we looked at earlier with the amazing banding on the inside and those little crystal pockets. That is pretty stuff in my opinion. Oh yeah, look, there's red in there as well. Are those like little tubules? Can't tell. It's pretty whatever it is though, right? I think this might be the other half of the rock I showed you, oh, maybe two rocks ago, which was agate and then had the quartz on the end. But this one, this side, has a little more stuff inside of it, as you can see. So it's more interesting to look at. Yeah, look at that. Much better half. A couple of pieces are like this, which 
are these tiny mossy plumy agates. Actually, now that I look at this, I can see the pluminess in there, in the red. Isn't that beautiful? It's very small, but you can still make it out right there. They're kind of going up in this orientation, those little plumes, right up, right up where I'm tapping here. You see those? I think those are plumes. Interesting stuff in there, don't you think? Wow. I remember finding this one and I remember cutting this one. I thought it was so interesting because it had that, I don't know, like a spider web effect going on on the inside. Look at that. Took an okay shine. That tan stuff is not quite as shiny as the, you can see the chalcedony behind it. But regardless, it's really interesting. Oh, and there's some of that, let me see if I can get this in the light just right. There's some of that beautiful blue right there. Check that out. Hope that's coming through. Here's a nice little chunk of this agate chalcedony material with stuff in it. Look at that. I like that dark sort of inclusion thing right there. You see that? Oh, that is interesting. I like that. I wish I could hold it so you could see it better. <laughs> These things are slick. But you see what I'm talking about. It's like a triangular... Oh, actually, it's that dark... What, do you, what would you even call that thing in there? I can't quite capture it. <laughs> I hope you can see it. This little guy has some really cool stuff on the inside as well. Look at those colors in there. Well, you know, I say colors. It's kind of that tannish looking whatever that is. It's interesting, right? Some of these are just tiny, tiny, tiny little tumbled and polished rocks. Look at this one here, if I can get it. I think that might be... Is that quartziness in there? No, it's something. That white stuff... And you can see, it's hard to get this. You see, it's got the dark top on it right there. And then the whole bottom side is just this much more translucent chalcedony. What an interesting rock. I showed you the red mossy plumy agate. Here's a tannish brownish one. It's not quite as nice. As you can see in that reflection, the surface is a little bit coarser. But there's still lots of stuff going on inside this little guy. What do you think? Look at that right there. I really like this little guy here. Look at that. It's got some banding in there, some nice color. It's very small, as you can see. Still though, check out those details. Wow. Good things come in these small packages. Don't you agree? Here's another one of those mossy ones. And if I can turn it over, it's so small. Look at this up top here. Look at that right in there. See that? That's definitely pluming right up there. Beautiful red plumes within that sort of clear chalcedony. Almost looks quartzy too. Oh, I just love that. That's beautiful. Here's a big old red moss agate. Well, relatively speaking big. Look at all of that in there. Is it moss? Is it plumes? I don't know, but oh, that's beautiful. Actually, I think it, I think I see like micro plumes. Let me, let me use that expression. I think that's super cool. Look at that. Little tiny pools of chalcedony in there and that red plume. Wow, cool rock. Another one with some great detail when you get it in the light just right. Let's see if I can do that. Look at that in there. Wow, that's cool. Tiny quartz vein right there, look at that. Hmm. This little dude has lots of color in it and cool mossiness, check this out. Let me see if I can get this under here just right, look at that. Wow. How interesting. These little rocks are all over the West Texas area where I was hunting. And until I got them cut and tumbled like this, I had no idea how much beauty was in these rocks, but whew, there's a bunch. This one has great color. Check this out. Let me see if I can turn this slowly so you can see the banding. There you go. Got some banding in there. Got that, uh, I don't know, is that red? I know that tumbles aren't perfect by any stretch, but like I said earlier, these were just way too small to continue to tumble. They're, they're hard to hold. They're that small. See, just dropped it. 
Regardless, I'm very happy with the way these turned out. I might have to consider filming these under the microscope because there is just a tremendous amount of detail in these. Look at the end of this one right here. I don't know if it's coming through, but it's super cool looking. Oh, it's just hard to hang on to, it's so small. And here's another one with nice color, which I probably could have scrubbed it out a little bit more because I see that white sort of coating on there inside those little pockets, and that looks like residue from the polishing. But look at it, it's got some cool stuff. You see it's got the betroidal pocket right there, can you see that? Got some, maybe, is that opal? I'm not sure, but it's that lighter material. Interesting little rock. And I'll end with this one, another little agate. It's purdy. You see it's got stuff in it. Ooh, look at that there. See if I can do something about that reflection. I think that's gorgeous. It just has all kinds of interesting things on the inside. What a fascinating world inside this rock, right? Well, there you go. Those are the what's inside my rock rocks all tumbled and polished. I've got a few more of these tumbles going, so stay tuned for those videos. These are actually really small. I think some of the other ones I'm doing, the rocks were bigger to begin with, so the end result should be bigger and hopefully as interesting as these were. I hope you agree. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Please remember to check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.